What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how I go about making melodies in 2020 super fast, super easy with this one little trick. And I'm gonna show you guys what it is because it's built inside FS Studio and, and most DAWs and stuff like that. So it's something that anybody really can do and follow along with. And hopefully, you can use this technique as well to come up with some dope melodies. Because let's be real, sometimes coming up with melodies can be a little bit tricky, a little bit hard, a little bit annoying. So this trick should help you out, or it should just be some you can add to your arsenal for later down the road when you get beat block or you just you know kind of stuck with coming up with a melody so if you can before you do that please like subscribe and comment on this video y'all know how it is i'm trying to hit 100k this year i believe i can do that with your guys help trust your boy if i can do that i'll be super grateful and i'll do like a big giveaway if i can get to that point so let's go ahead and jump inside fs studio and do it so right now fs studio i have chipset md pulled up and i got a little chord and i'm gonna show you guys how i turn some simple little chords into a dope melody i'll show you how I really come with melodies. Now, the feature I'm be using is the arpeggiator. Now, the arpeggiator is built into FL Studio, which I like. And most DAWs is, I know Ableton has an arpeggiator, and also Studio One has an arpeggiator. I don't know about other DAWs, but I'm pretty sure Logic Reason and other DAWs have some sort of arpeggiator function or utility tool to do that which is dope i like to use the arpeggiator built to my keyboard because it is a lot more powerful than the ones built inside of uh, fl studio so i do like that but you know it is what it is you can do what you want to do you know this keyboard is a launch key 37 by the guys innovation did a review on it highly recommend this keyboard for anybody looking for a dope keyboard for ableton or fl studio any or dw but that's besides the point watch that video if you want to see that so let's go ahead and talk about my little trick so right now let's say i got chips and md my favorite VST because you know it emulates the Sega Genesis and all that and I got this simple little chord pattern with a bell sound So and I think it's in C sharp minor if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, C sharp minor So, you know, just a simple little chord pattern nothing special just what it sounds like You know, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and turn this into a dope melody. Like I said, we're going to be using the art feature business of FS Studio. So first, what you want to do is click on your actual instrument, whatever it is, and bring down this little cog icon and then click this little wrench tool. Why? Because the wrench just lets you do a lot of dope stuff behind it. I might do a video where I go into what these can do because you can do a lot of good stuff with your sounds with just this rapper tool right here, which I do like. So right here is the arpeggiator. And basically, this is how you're going to make your arpeggiator. You have different modes. You have up down up and down up and down sticky and then you also have the random feature so you know you click on these and it's depending on how your arps are going to be played so for example so yeah dope you can select your range how many times it repeats your timing and the gate so that you know just so basically you kind of you know manipulate your sound so you can say you can make it faster which is you know if you want to make it faster you use some really cool like you know old school stuff right there or make it slower you can change the gate as well Like I said, and you got to change the range as well, so how high it goes up and down the keyboard and how many times it repeats. So right there, you already kind of got a dope melody right there off the back, off the rip. And, you know, you can play around with it you get the right sound. But what if you want to take it a step further? I'm going to show you a couple of steps. So I think in version FL Studio 20 point, was it five? I think they added in the feature of four or five. They added in the feature to where you can actually um, consolidate your arpeggiator playing so if you want to go in and actually tweak the individual notes that the arpeggiator is making you can do that so what you do is you right click here and you go to burn the midi the burn the midi feature you just do current pattern and it'll just pretty much burn the midi and then boom yeah now you actually have that exact same notes that it was playing but now in midi form you can go in here and actually start you know manipulating them around to get you know a doper sounding melody so i'm gonna go ahead and do that you know move some of these like double notes around i don't like those And right there, you already got a dope melody, super simple, super quick inside of here. And this I can change the note length again.
Oh man, that's dope as hell. So right then, you got a dope melody. You could be done with the video right now and go start making some dope beats. Really super easy, really super quick. And like I said, and if you want to, let's take it a step further. So I went ahead and sent it to a mixer channel, which you just do by selecting here, clicking the track. It's sent to a mixer channel. Um, I'm gonna add some effects to it. So let's go ahead and add halftime, because you know halftime is dope. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna add this a chorus effect, because you know chorus is dope. And then I'm gonna add in some cassette, some lo-fi to it. Dope. Right then, I got a really dope melody going on. But like I said, we're going to take it a step further. Like I said, once you actually, you know, get your melody set up, you add your effects. I'm going to record mine. Now, I'm going to use Edison because you can record it inside the DAW directly. But I like to use Edison because Edison has a really dope feature that I like to use. So when you pull up Edison, you put it at the last, you pretty much put it at the last plugin. So that way it'll um, record all the effects along with the plugin or with your sound. And then you want to turn this from on input to on play. Now, when you actually hit play, it's actually going to loop it for you automatically and get you perfect loops every time. So hit record and just press play. and It's going to perfectly loop it for you. And then if you right click this part right here, I'm gonna go to select and then I'm gonna trim it down. And then if you want to, you can go here and you can de-click in, click the wrench again, de-click out. And then if you go to right here, to this little button right here, go to edit properties and then go to tempo sync, it'll just sync it to the tempo that's played in. So now we have a perfect loop. Dope. And now I can take this Edison, drag it into my song mode, double click it, and now I can really start manipulating. So I can turn the pitch down a little bit on it. So yeah, as you can see, man, you can do so much with this. I mean, you can, you know, slow it down. You can, you know, slow the sample down. Well, you might not want to slow it down too much, but you get the point. Like you could easily do a lot with just, uh, you know, turning your melodies or your uh, chords into like an arp. And using arps, like arps are very powerful. Like people think they're just for like, you know, rhythmic stuff. No, you can use arps to make your main melodies, to do some dope sampling, to do a lot of stuff. Arps are really, really powerful. And you can do it in most, like I said, pretty much any DAW. Like I said, it's my go-to way of coming up with melodies because I just don't like coming up with melodies. And I think this is a faster way for me to come up with melodies that, you know, are different every single time, pretty much. And just like I said, I usually use the randomized function or the mutation function function inside my keyboard they just come up with some random melodies and just work with it. it's you know it's dope i mean especially if you don't like ai plugins i know a lot of you guys don't which ai plugins are dope you know use the arpeggiator because you know it's more predictable and you can you know kind of you know make it your own and put it around with so yeah that's my little trick how i make melodies in 2021 in any daw uh like i said if you guys use this technique let me know if it's something that you're gonna think about use it i want to know in the comment below what do you do to come up with melodies how do you come up with melodies and what do you use in the plugins and all that kind of stuff you use so with that being said y'all know who it is your boy slim aka miss different not motivated by the money but the like comment subscribe and views with that being said hope you guys enjoy and i'm tired i'm hungry i'm ready to go make some more beats i'll catch you guys next video i'm out Yeet.